Now we're going to get into some more detail as far as moving around in the viewports. To pan, I simply right mouse click and hold, or shift plus right mouse button in the perspective view. I can also use my pan button up here, but as soon as I let go of the mouse, click pan, hold to pan, and when I let go, if I click again, I'm no longer panning. To rotate, I can do the same. Rotate view. Click there. And I can rotate. But in the perspective window, I can rotate simply by holding down my right mouse button. Now what about rotating in the other viewports? Well, top, front, and right viewports are aligned specifically to show you for example, in the top viewport, the y-axis is up, the x-axis is across. Nevertheless, you can still rotate here. Now, after having done that, what it's done is it turns my top viewport into a perspective viewport. Well, what if I'd like it to, to be restored to the top viewport? I can go here to my viewports button which has the little car on it. I hold down my left button, left mouse button on that white triangle there. Whenever you see a white triangle, that means the menu item, the tool can be expanded. And here's its submenu here. Now the car represents the angle that we're looking at. Now here as you can see the car from the top, so if I click that, as you can see it's restored my top viewport to its default set. Now what about zooming? Well, to zoom, I'll simply hold the control button down and use my right mouse button. As you can see, when I scroll up, I get closer. As I scroll down, I get farther away. Again, that can be done here, down and up. Or if I right click, as you can see, it zooms in gradually. Now control plus right mouse button will allow you to zoom in any of your viewports. And as you can see, we can zoom easily beyond the limits of our graph, the limits of our construction plan. 